My name is Terrence Dean. I am the author of the book, High Net Hip Hop, on the down low in the entertainment industry from music to Hollywood. What I think you, the reader, would take out of the book and what you'll get out of the book um, is a story of a down low man, a former down low man, who struggles throughout his career within the entertainment industry, um, trying to find his voice and a place, um, not only in black America, but in America, period. I find that um, hip hop tends to be the most homoerotic um, of cultures. You know, men with their shirts off, boasting of their bravados, um, you know, with the gold chains, the platinum chains, and the breed of cars and women. Um, so it tends to like, you know, breed into that lifestyle, and a lot of men tend to be of a down low persuasion. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people would be surprised and shocked to find that a lot of their favorite actors, celebrities, and rappers, but also that there's a, a great subculture of men who work behind the scenes. We are songwriters, we're producers, we're television directors. We're, you know, we're so ingrained within this culture, but we are unable to fully come out of the closet and be our true selves um, because of the fear we have for the backlash we receive from the community. Well, one of the things I want people to understand is that I didn't name names um, in the book because I want to respect and protect those um, who are still struggling with their sexuality. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, again, in our, in our community, we are unable to have that dialogue, and I didn't, I wanted to make sure that I protected them. Um, but also, I do give enough clues in the book um, that people can identify who I am referring to. Um, I described a lot of the situations. Um, I have been romantically involved with a lot of them intimately. Um, I've been invited to their homes socially. So I know, I know these people um, personally. And prior to me writing the book, I did receive phone calls um, from a lot of my friends who are in their business, who are celebrities, um, asking me, you know, specifically if they were going to be included in the book and if I could protect their privacy and, and not name their name but give enough clues that you know people can probably pinpoint to who I'm referring to um, and then you know when I did you know uh, write the descriptions I got the phone calls again um, and asked, they asked me if I could read the descriptions you know to them over the phone and, and they asked me if I could take out some more things you know because they want to make sure that it, it, even though it may have led to them particularly it could have been another person that I was referring to in the book so I think people you know will, will be able to figure out and have some idea you know you better narrow it down to at least if not that one person at least two people who are referring to in the book and you know, I talk about you know, a lot of a lot of things in the books. I just you know download parties that I've attended in the entertainment industry over ten plus years. Um, I have most recently been with MTV Networks, um, working as a production coordinator on an executive on many of the live award shows such as movie awards, video music awards, hip hop honors, um, any award show that is live at MTV. So I've traveled extensively um, with MTV Networks. I've also worked with Spike Lee, Keenan Ivory Wayans on his um, Keenan Ivory Wayans um, talk show, um, Rob Reiner, Angelica Houston. I worked on uh, several movies with BET, Subway Television, Warner Brothers. So I have been involved in this entertainment business for a long time. So um, a lot of people who are referred to in the book are friends of mine. I, I am advocating that um, an artist, a celebrity, come forward and um, become a face for um, being a gay person, a gay man or a gay woman. Um, because then that way we open up a dialogue within the black community that is so needed, desperately. Um, I think because we're afraid to uh, have that kind of black church. Um, so a lot of times I found myself um, conflicted, um, trying to figure out, you know, if, if, you know, knowing that this was a sin, homosexuality. But however, you know, there was no conversation or dialogue created in the black church that allowed me to f further investigate um, and be open to, you know, go to a minister and talk about my sexuality. Well, I grew up in a very dysfunctional family where, um, unfortunately, my mother, she was a heroin addict and prostitute. Um, so, unfortunately, her four children, myself including, you know, two brothers and a sister, we were split up amongst family members. And I was fortunate enough to go live with my grandmother. And it really bothered me that I didn't have um, a family f um, structure. I would say, that I was looking for that many of my friends had or other members of my family had. And as a result of my mother being a heroin addict and a prostitute, she contracted the HIV virus through intravenous drug use, and she gave birth to my baby brother who was born with HIV virus, which meant my mother 
subsequently. Homosexuality as, as a choice or, you know, those who are born, you know, I, I immediately identifying with their sexuality. Um, yeah, I, 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 for, for, my, for me personally, I know had I not been subjected to the rape that occurred to me, I had not thought about being with a man sexually. I had not thought about or even had the ideation of wanting to be with another man. Um, I felt it was a violation for him to take advantage of me um, and to take away the innocence because uh, I had never been sexually active with anyone prior to that experience. So unfortunately that did create um, uh, it, it, it did create something within me to start questioning and to start discovering it and exploring um, that side of myself sexually and it did lead me to choose homosexuality. Yeah. I would say the young people today are much more intellectually savvy because they have media technology where they're exposed to um, a lot more than we were when we were young kids. And you know, here in New York, we have the Harvey Milk School, which is an all you know LGBT high school. They um, have several other schools that exist around the country. So kids today, you know, they're like, "Well, I have gay friends. It's no big deal." I don't name names in my book because I, I want people to really focus on the story. It's, it is my memoir. It is about my life as a down low man in the entertainment industry. It just so happens that hip hop is the backdrop. Actually, this is my first book, um, Be Empowered. Um, Hiding Hip Hop is my second second book that I published. But Be Empowered was the first book I wrote um, in the year of 2002 because I recognized that there, I was, as I was struggling with my sexuality, but also st struggling within my career and my family, I wanted to find a book that spoke to me as a man. more about me and my book, you can visit my blog, which is terrencedean.blogspot.com. Or you can visit me on my MySpace page, which is myspace.com slash hiding in hip hop. And you can also reach me on my Facebook page as well, Facebook slash hiding in hip hop. So those three ways you can definitely reach me or you can visit me, you know, and send me an email, hiding in hip hop, all one word, at AOL.com.